I would like to uh, give you guys the order for our ballot on Saturday. Our elections are Saturday, all right? And they're from 10 to 2 in this room. We are residents of not then and we live in Ward uh, 3, Precinct 1, or 2. Ward 3, Precincts 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. You can vote um, on Saturday. You don't have to be a registered voter. All you have to do is be a resident. And you can come in here, they'll check your name, and you, you can vote for up to six candidates. There are, uh, there are nine total. You can vote for up to six, and we'll be here from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to give you the order of the ballot, which was drawn uh, randomly by uh, council members who are not running for election, not re-election on Saturday. And the order is Maria Lanza is the first on the ballot. The second on the ballot um, is Phil Frateroli. Um, number three is uh, Jorge Mendoza, George Mendoza. Number four is David Max. Number five is Ed Rice. Number six is Ralph Maraki. Number seven is George Truly, Steve and Michael Passanitilli. Number eight is Robert Gomez, and number nine is Damian DePaul. Um, so with that said, that's the uh, that's how the ballot will appear on Saturday. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have um, we have some candidates here who are running on Saturday, and we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to let them get up and um, say a few words why they're running and uh, just introduce themselves. Just real quick, it's not we're not going to have people asking them questions. They're just going to let them introduce themselves, <coughs> and that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to uh, I'm going to just use this list as the order, okay? So I'm going to let Maria go first to um, introduce yourself, Maria, if you would like to. Uh... Also, for the record, I think Maria is probably the youngest candidate in the history of the Naval Council, and I want to congratulate her for that, for getting involved at 18 years old. Thank you, Council, for having me. Hello, everyone. I'm Maria Lanza. I've been a lifelong resident of the North End for my short 18 years of life. And I am running for Neighborhood Council because I believe that it's important for the youth to get involved now in decision making here and what's going on, what's going to go up on the street corner, what's going to happen in a basement of a house because I think that as someone who plans to stay here for the rest of my life, I want to make sure that the neighborhood changes in the greatest way that it can, but also remains true to the North End that we all know and love. So. I think it'd be good to have someone a little bit younger who might know a lot about what kids and people would want who are growing up here now, but also still a North End head inmate who knows to keep the neighborhood as it is, but only like welcome good change. So. Thank you, Maria. Successfully, but I nonetheless vowed to not give up and wanted to give another shot. Basically, being an elected member of NUNIC, our council, my way of giving back to a neighborhood that, in my opinion, has given me so much. I believe in unity 
priority, priority to be given to our neighborhood children to attend the Elliott School, keeping families in and bringing families to the neighborhood to live, and fighting to keep our streets clean and our residents safe. I've been a member of the council for the last four years. I'm a member of our council's bylaws committee. I've been our council's public safety committee chairman for the last two years, attending the monthly public safety meetings and giving a report. Um, I also helped to spearhead a trash and recycling survey that Matt Conti kindly crafted very well and posted on his website. And we're, hopefully we can get that moving as far as changing the trash issues. Um, and I helped out with the Ben Affleck home this time when they were filming here in North End. I worked with the second unit locations department. Um, I helped to coordinate logistics affecting the partial street closures, uh, provided free parking vouchers to residents that needed them. I was attentive to resident concerns and questions regarding the filming schedule. I was always available via cell phone. and was more than happy to meet with residents even when they don't go out. That was pretty well. Last but not least, being on the council is not always easy. We are consistently confronted with tough issues that do require tough votes. I try to keep an open mind on all such issues that have become before the council. And I've also tried to vote based on the facts rather than on emotion. It would be an honor and a privilege to continue to serve you for the next two years and beyond. I humbly request your vote for re-election. So thanks everyone for a chance to introduce myself. I'm running for the first time. Uh, my wife and uh, three-year-old are right over there. We're at uh, 17 Stone Hill Street. Um, we haven't been here lifelong yet. We've been here about six years. And um, first of all, it's, it's been a great six years. And so the first reason I'm running is because it's a great place. It's a great neighborhood. Um, you've, got it, you've got it all right here. The question is, how does it all happen? It, it's a lot of hard work, I can imagine. So um, my first reason for running is really that um, I want to give back. And um, I've been thinking about <coughs> giving back in a number of ways, and this is a way where I think that uh, I could potentially help out and, and, and have some qualification. I've been an architect uh, for 15 years. Um, I have uh, been in Boston most of that time, nearly all of that time, and have worked in a variety of challenging situations and have worked with boards like this one, gone for approvals, you name it. Um, and so it, I find it professionally intriguing to go after this, this type of uh, position. Um, I, you know, I, I don't think there's anything I can say about um, qualifications that would um, put me in an experience level with all of the city agencies, all of the stakeholders that, that, that you work with. It's, it's a challenge. Um, uh, I know that there's a lot of decisions to be made. Some of them are um, more procedural and some of them are, are tough decisions with, with a lot of um, stakeholders uh, in the process. What I would say that I can offer is, um, I know the zoning code. Uh, I've worked, as I said, uh, with engineers most of my career, um, and attorneys as well. So um, I, I um, can and definitely, I think, sit down and grind through some of the more uh, procedural uh, decisions that the, that the board is, is making. Um, the final reason is that uh, uh, it's my three-year-old. Uh, I think she's really uh, gotten me to see things uh, from the point of view of, of children in the city. Um, uh, I think not only do we have to think about um, kids that are growing up and, and want to stay here and want to perpetuate this great neighborhood, but we all also want to think about uh, kids all over the city and, and other um, families that are bringing kids into the city. And there's um, some amazing plans on the boards for um, schools, schools that are getting expanded. And um, I think it's just an exciting thing to see. Uh, you know, there, there's been a number of, of buildings and schools that have been uh, converted, and now we're seeing things getting converted back to schools. So it's just an exciting, um, I think, moment for the North End, and uh, I would be happy to serve, and uh, I think able, and uh, just give it a shot. My name is Ralph Rocky. I've been in the North End for 23 years, and I attended school in the North End, played basketball, Little League. I went to the Nazaro Center uh, after school program right behind those doors. 
I'm running for council because I love this neighborhood and it's made me who I am today. And I'm going to take this as an opportunity to give back to the North End and uh, the community. I'm number six in the ballot. I uh, appreciate it if you voted for me on uh, Saturday. Thank you. So, Bobby, you want to go or you want me to go? Yeah, I don't mind. Go. Hi, how's everybody doing this evening? I'm Robert Gomez. I'd like to announce my candidacy for neighborhood council. As a lifelong resident of the North End and a proud member of this community, I think it's important that the ideals and traditions of this neighborhood are maintained, while also being accommodating to the newer residents and their ideals and traditions. Prior council has done a great job of this, and I hope that if I'm elected, I can continue that trend. Thank you. First, I want to thank all the younger. Uh, it seems like we have a youth movement going on here, and I want to thank all the younger, um, younger candidates. I think it's extremely important that you are involved in your neighborhood, um, whether you're 18 years old or whether you're 80 years old. Um, I think that's what makes a great neighborhood. And, and, and um, you know, a lot of people have been making a lot of comments recently about, you know, some kids are on the neighborhood kind of, um, that we're having uh, too many young kids running, and I, I actually see, uh, I see it as a positive. I mean, we had a discussion last week, and I think it's going to be a great thing if one of these young, younger, uh, younger members of the neighborhood are elected. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually very proud of them. I've known them all since they were kids. Um, like I said, Maria uh, is 18 years old. Okay, and Tony has brought it to my attention that she was 18 years old also when she ran. So, so Maria and Tony are tied for the youngest. Dad, but, uh, <laughs> but um. You know, this is sometimes a thankless job. You know, we come in here and we vote on issues, and sometimes we may not vote on an issue um, the way you may have hoped we would vote on it. And it can be difficult at times. And, and I'll be honest with you, I wrestled uh, a lot with the, uh, whether or not I was going to run for another term. And um, I actually thought it would have been the service if I didn't. Uh, I don't even know how to describe how I feel about this neighborhood. It, it, it is who I am. It has uh, made me who I am. Um, you know, the neighborhood is, it, it's like, it's just, it's beyond words. It's like, the nothing lives inside me, and I love this place. I would do anything to make this uh, uh, the greatest place. I would do anything to protect it. Um, it's difficult being on the neighborhood council sometimes. You have to balance residential issues with business issues, and it's very difficult to balance. And um, we do our best. It's not easy. We vote by a show of hands. We don't vote on a secret ballot. Um, and it can be difficult. Um, I was born in this neighborhood. I was raised in this neighborhood. My mom and dad were born and raised in this neighborhood. My grandparents were born and raised in this neighborhood. My kids are going to be raised in this neighborhood. And I'm probably going to be here for a very, 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 very long time moving forward. And I want to be involved as long as I'm here. And by doing this, I stay involved and I stay active. And um, I'm one of the founding members of the North End Beautification Committee. I'm a member of the North End Against Drugs Board of Directors. Um, and, uh, you know, I have experience. I've been here. This is going to be my fourth, uh, my third re-election. I've been the president for the past year. I was the president two years ago. Um, I worked for the city councilor for seven years. Uh, I know all about constituent services. I know all about zoning. I know all about licensing. Um, I can't believe I'm like the second longest tenured counselor on there other than Ann. Um, I'm actually starting to feel old up there. But um, you know, when you come in Saturday, I, I, I'd love your vote. Um, I'm not the best qualified, but I'm qualified. And you have, one, uh, you have six votes. I hope it's going to be one of six. So thank you.